Good morning, good morning. It is a gorgeous day in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. And it has actually been about two days since I last talked to you guys because somehow I got very, very sick yesterday and like was unable to kind of make it out of bed at all or like, I don't know, do anything because I was, ugh, it was just not fun. But it only lasted one day. I like got over it really quick and now we're gonna go eat lots of food because I am starving. So let's go. On the deck right now I just have my computer here so I'm gonna get tons and tons of work done but yeah I've been chatting with Aiden so hopefully later today we'll do a little Q&A kind of thing because you guys have been very curious about him lately um, and otherwise I'm just kind of embracing the good weather because it looks like there might be rain on the way I don't know I don't want to jinx it so like no rain anti-rain dance, I don't know. But yeah, get lots of work done because yesterday I could absolutely get nothing done. And even the, the day before that, I was feeling a little gross. So um, we're back, back on commission. Uh, and it's about 3.30 now, and we're gonna see what we can get done. Let's go. Just yeah. came home with some bikes. <laughs> yeah, look. I call that one. You, you like that one? Okay. Yes, okay. I, I like, like blue. This, the Naranja. Oh, yay. Yeah, this one has a bell. Oh, it has a bell? <laughs> but we have to get locks. That is so amazing. Does it work? Did you yeah. test it? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Isn't it cool? Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. It's, so it's like, cute. makes my day. I'm so happy my life is complete. Your life is complete now? <laughs> See, all you need to give me is food, but all you need to give her is a bite. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, so I'm up on the deck right now, and it is super dark, so I'm like, using my phone as a flashlight. And I'm here with Aiden! Woo! Aiden! Oh my god, it is so exciting. Um, Aiden and I haven't talked in a while, um, just because we're super busy, and I've been, you know, traveling the world, so like, you know. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> no, no, I'm wow. kidding. Anyways, we thought that we would like put together some of the questions that we found um, on our videos and on social media, kind of like regarding internet friendships and stuff because you guys are really curious about like how we met and everything and like the video of us meeting went like strangely viral on my channel. It has like over a hundred thousand views now, which is pretty insane. You excited, Aiden? So. so excited! Just so you know, you're on video too, so they can all see you. So they can all see oh, you I'm making hot cocoa. Hot cocoa for myself. Yeah. Are you ready for the first question? Yeah. Okay. So the first question is like the most asked of them all, and that is, are you still friends? <laughs> no. No. We, we hate talk. each other. We no. Don't have time to reach out to no. Obviously, we're still friends. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, we haven't been able to like talk as much lately as we've, or as le at least as I've wanted to. I don't know what he wants, but um, <laughs> but we're still really good friends. I as well. <laughs> we're still really good friends, and I mean, I mention Aiden all the time. I still talk about about him like a crazy person, and people think that I'm crazy. So, yeah. What about you, Aiden? No. It's just how we live, and we legit live on the other side of the world from each other, and it's not the cheapest thing to fly over to each other's houses for the day. <laughs> no, not not really. But I mean, we might be setting something up soon, so you won't have to wait too much longer. Oh, this one I had to include because it was hilarious. This was on the video um, of us meeting, and someone. I mean, I guess this is, this is a question, so we're just gonna we're just gonna answer it. How is no one scared that the guy may be a pedo. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Can we just 
girls are pedophiles as well. I know, like, I know. That was my first response yeah. to it too. And I mean, on a more serious note, like Aiden and I had been talking for over a year and a half and had Skyped every and it night. Was like FaceTime and Skype. It wasn't like we were just messaging or sending pictures. Exactly, like, yeah. Like, got to know each other's families and everything. It wasn't like we were meeting total strangers because we knew each other so well. How do people even become best friends through the internet? Well, because th this kind of goes into. Um, this girl said, "Ah, OMG, how did you guys meet? So that, like, yeah. we can talk about how we met and then how others can meet, I guess. Okay, well, we met on a site called Uname. Boop, boop. Whoa, whoa. Boop. It, no, it's terrible now. Don't, don't go on there anymore. <laughs> Honestly, check there when you can bother going on it. Yeah. Um, but, <laughs> back in the day... It was 2012, I believe, right? 2013? Yeah. I don't know, something like that. Yeah. That's so weird. And you, and I all me and the and two other of my friends that we met online had like a routine of like when we went on and stuff. And then Cece <laughs> <laughs> was on in my time. <laughs> People were coming to view moi. And they were being really mean to Cece. And I'm not into this horrible, but yeah. I, I'm a nice person. So how it works on there is like you get voted up or down and if you get enough down votes or how it worked then doesn't work that way now if you got enough down votes then you got kicked off and the next person in queue got to go on so all the people that went to go see Aiden were like down voting me right because they wanted to see Aiden obviously yeah. who wants to see me and um, <laughs> and so but Aiden like stood up for me and like gave me like the thing called like five likes so that I could stay on and I was like, oh my god, he's so nice. And then I think I looked at his Twitter and saw that he was really famous, right? And then I decided that you were cool. <laughs> so basically, she just wanted to friends me because she thought I was famous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I you got a network, to you know? You got a network, <laughs> somehow. Yeah. <laughs> just literally, you just got a bit of common interest. And like be confident with yourself as well like see if you're awkward and like do not have that confidence just start a conversation then it's just not gonna work <laughs> yeah i mean the thing is i agree but also online like it's a place in which you can really be yourself and i think um unfortunately in the past couple of years it's become a lot more saturated and it's like harder to find people almost because everyone is online um and back then i mean a lot of people were online but it was still I mean, not not everyone had like found you now. Not everyone had um, gone on YouTube, but now it seems to be like everyone is there, and so yeah. So that makes it a little bit more difficult. But I think I mean I see a lot of people on my videos like commenting down in the description, like, "Hey, I want a best friend. This is stuff about me," and like people are finding each other down there, and I think that's so cool. I mean, I'm so curious to see if I like if my video made anyone find their friends anyways yeah no I, Hello. I see that as well like it's so weird being in the comments of people like me and being like i'll be a friend and it's like some is like be careful please just, please don't just make friends with random people though please talk to them first before yeah definitely and then also like i mean i think that skype and facetime are some of the best ways to go about it because yeah, exactly. um it really ensures that that person is an actual human being and like that you actually get along because the, I mean anyone can get along over iMessage or something because it's so impersonal but when it comes to like having an actual conversation pretty much face to face like it can be a little bit more difficult and also a lot more genuine. Very exactly. in depth. Very Look at us. Internet friendship power. Yeah. The last question is how do I tell my parents about my internet friend? How did we, I kind of like our parents just kind of saw us talking. Yeah, like, so... I'm not sure what your parents thought the first time, I know you what your dad thought the first yeah. time, but like, I'm not sure what your mom thought the first time, but my mom was obviously, when I told her, like, oh yeah, I, I met this best friend online, mom's like, what? Like, what have you been doing online? I'm like, but then obviously, Cece actually met my mom on yeah. FaceTime and, and then got on well before it yeah. actually went over. Anyway, I think it was a little different for me because Aiden is, what, two years older than me? Three, two? Two years older than me. How old are you now? Nineteen? No wait. I'm nineteen. Yeah, but I was how old? Like fourteen when we met. 
right? Yeah. When we met, but when, when we met for when we met in person, I was 15. Yeah. So I was a lot younger, and my mom. I mean, she's just like really supportive of anything. I mean, she's obviously safe, but like she had met Aiden and realized that he was a really extraordinary person, so she was like totally okay with it. But my dad was very different. He initially was kind of very standoffish and like didn't even want to talk to Aiden on on. Skype and like didn't want Aiden to see like any part of our family life or anything um, and like since my mom had approved it um, he was more supportive of letting us meet just because like he had no choice once he met Aiden he like it was so weird like he was like slightly in love with Aiden it was kind of strange <laughs> I mean like when we were getting our new apartment he made sure that there was an extra room just in case Aiden wanted to come and visit like he, Aiden like became part of the family and I think I luckily was able to kind of convince him and since I talked to Aiden so often um, like pretty much face to face and he, he was able to get to know Aiden a little bit more it was really a lot easier but I see a lot of people commenting that like their parents won't even let them talk to anyone in the first place, which is hard. And I think it just comes with it's, like yeah, the generation, the like, right? Because online, yeah, so, like, like I mean, in that generation, a lot of the people <laughs> online were doing weird things, and they were like, "Oh, a new platform to find people and like murder them." And <laughs> and now, since it's become so saturated, you could meet anyone anyone there. You know, people use Facebook all the time, and I mean, just talk to your parents and be like, "Hey, what if you met a new person just on the streets and became friends with them?" Like, it's the same thing online. You know, people aren't most most people aren't there for malicious things. And if you talk if you talk to them like on Skype and you get to know them for over a year, I think that it's okay to meet. But I don't know. I would. I would just feel it out and like take no, your time. Meet in place, like a bus station. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> that too. And then like, and then with with your parents, just like be patient and take your time. And like, what comes across weirdly is when you meet someone online and you want to like meet them the next day. Like then you're then that's a little weird. But like, if you've talked to someone for years and then you're gonna meet them, then like it's pretty foolproof in my opinion. Anyways. Yeah, I mean like. So watched each other's, like, that year we watched each other's lives for that whole year because we updated each other every day of what we are actually doing. So, like, we knew that we were both living, like, our lives, that we were both real, like, <laughs> because, yeah. like, if, if you're talking to someone they're not sharing their life with you, then obviously there's something wrong there yeah. because they're hiding something from you. <laughs> So, I somehow lost, like, the footage from the last minute of our conversation. So, I am back with Aiden! Hi! Anyways, we just want to say goodbye to you guys in true Aiden and Cecile fashion because it would be just really heartbreaking if we didn't, right? So. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Anyways, so we love you all. I'm going to go get dinner. I'm not really ending the vlog, but bye! Is it good? Muchas gracias. So I am just editing this vlog and I realized that yet again I forgot to end it. So I am yet again ending it now. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below any other questions that you guys have for Aiden and I because we are sure to be doing another one of these pretty soon, especially if you guys liked it. So yeah, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I love you all. Bye.